Coach Tammy Etheridge, Coach, just opening thoughts after the victory? Well, I, I'm I'm really excited for this team and, and for our start. Um, again, a, a preseason or an early conference, uh, non-conference game, you have no idea how your team will respond. You have no idea exactly what the other team is going to do. You scout from, you know, five or six games from the year previous, and um, and and Brigham Young was playing such good basketball at the end of the year. Now they lost a player that was really important to them, uh, and I think that's really changed them. Some of their players are having to do a lot more. Some of their guards are. Um, but I just loved how our team came out and and guarded them and and. Um, made every basket hard for them. Uh, I loved how we rebounded, and I thought we managed a, you know, a kind of a not-so-smooth offensive game uh, as at pretty much as well as we could, and we found a way to uh, put enough points on the board to win the game tonight. As far as uh, the rebounds, um, I rebounded 53 to 317. Maybe just comment on the importance of that, especially against a team that had, yeah. the, had the size. I, I, I told the team already, I mean, I'm not used to talking in a positive way about our rebounding. It, it, it just, it was always such a dagger to us last year. It was a, a reason why we were, you know, the games got away from us. And, and you're always going to have these games where offense isn't running great. You don't score the ball as well as you do. You have 10 points at, at the quarter. Um, and so that's what we've talked a lot about with our team is, the physicality of rebounding gets you extra possessions. It keeps possessions away from the other team. Uh, those are possessions that we gave up last year and points that we gave up last year. And, and this team just has, obviously, we have more bodies. Um, we have more size. Um, we have depth. So if people aren't doing, you know, the bench is a great motivator. To, so people are, are pretty motivated to, to rebound a little bit harder. And, and it's also becoming, I think, I hope, a little bit of our DNA. We're going to be, a, we're going to show a little bit more physicality and, and grittiness in, in trying to extend possessions or end possessions for the other team. Coach, out of the break there, uh, BYU went on to score six quick points. You called a timeout. What was your message to, do, to your team during that time? And whatever it was, it must have went through because you guys jumped right back out to a double-digit lead soon after and never looked back. You know, it's just every coach's nightmare to come out of the halftime and, and not be good for the first three or four minutes. And, you know, we talked about it the last game. We were unbelievably good coming out of halftime. So we try to have the same message. And, you know, we you just go through lulls and you just have moments of bad energy and then bad you have a little bit of bad energy or bad decision making and then combine that with some poor shot selection. And I just thought we had bad shot selection early in that half. and. You know, they make a couple of baskets. They they have a run out. We have a bad shot that leads to an easy three on the other end, and all of a sudden, your lead's cut in half, and and you're, you know, you're maybe you're fragile a little bit. You don't know how you'll respond to that. But the one thing that I've really loved about this team in the short season so far is we've responded pretty well to some adversity, and uh, again, I think that's a growth, you know, something that we we've really grown in because a year ago that could have that could have snowballed into a, a worse stretch for us. So um, the message was, you know, we still have to execute and we still have to be on edge and we still have to be, um, you know, we have to fight for our possessions a little bit more and take care of them a little bit better. Coach, you, your team forced BYU to just one of 13 shooting in the final quarter. Uh, what can you say about that focus on the stretch? I thought our defensive effort tonight was, was really good. Again, how we guarded their shooters. And, and we talked about that. I thought seven or eight, maybe, I think that was in our scouting report, if we could hold them under seven or eight threes. Never thought in a million years we could they hold them to five. And, and I think when you take away their three-point shooters, it really puts a lot of pressure on the rest of their, their team. And, and obviously, they, they need the three and have had great success at, at shooting the three. So um, I thought the defensive end just really got us through this game tonight. I don't think it was offense. We didn't shoot the ball as particularly well. Yo did, and I think that was a big – honestly, that was a big thing for us, to be able to bring her in, not just to stretch the defense, but also she just has a little bit better ball handling skills. Same with Ula getting so many minutes. Ula didn't have a great offensive game tonight, but she's just – she she manages on the perimeter better than our freshman post. So. You know, it's a game where we couldn't go to them as much, as much as I would like. But um, 
you know, it's nice to have some options and not have to play a certain way and, and have that versatility. And I think that versatility showed up mainly in, in Yo being able to, you know, keep them from what they wanted to do and, and, and help us on the offensive end. Yo coming off the bench, I mean, she had a double-double. Is that something we can get used to? Yeah, I think so. I loved uh, – I mean, I, I, we, we did start Yo in, in a – in one of the games, and I just I really think she's probably better, and I, I love being bringing offense off the bench, so I really do like the thought that uh, she can come in and watch the freshman or or whoever whomever she might come in for. She might come in for Yo uh, Ula, and and just that kind of offense punch, and and I think that was a great example of what we need from her tonight. And she's smart. She's got a great IQ. She watches everything. And I think you're going to get more consistent play. So um, we need the bigs, our freshmen, to grow. And we need them as well. But it's great to have uh, some consistency. And you know what you're going to get when you bring Yo off the bench.